Hello there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of January 11th through January 17th. Before we get started, I do want to make one quick announcement. I do have some group mentoring sessions with slots still available. The first one is on January 13th. That starts at 1215 Mountain Time. That is a Wednesday. That'll be 215 Eastern Time and 715 if you're living in the UK, 715 p.m. The next one that is available is Martin Luther King Day here in the United States. That's Monday the 18th. That one will be at 1 o'clock Mountain, 3 o'clock Eastern. If you're in the United Kingdom, that would be 8 o'clock p.m. And then on January 24th, which is a Sunday, I have an evening session coming up. That's at 6.30 Mountain Time, 8.30 Eastern. And if you're in the United Kingdom, that puts you at like 1.30 on Monday morning. So that's what we have coming up. Thank you so much for bearing with me through that announcement. If you want to get into one of those group mentoring sessions, look up my contact information on my website at mista.info and let me know. Also, if um, you want to be in a group mentoring session but none of those dates work for you or none of those times, let me know that too. We'll come up with something that works well for you and for me and then we'll leave it open to whoever would like to join us. So Capricorn, let's start your reading on Monday. What we have coming up is the Hierophant in reverse. And the Hierophant in reverse is just telling me that you're doing something traditional Monday, but you're putting your own spin on it. Now, traditional. Let's define what is something traditional. So traditional is something that has been done repeatedly um, in the same way, maybe on the same day. Um, there could be, um, like if you have ever been, like people have traditional motorcycle runs where every year they run for a certain charity and so they put together a motorcycle run so that becomes a traditional thing. Um, there is all kinds of church traditions, you know, First Communion, um, Easter, all of those things are traditional. Weddings, those things are traditional. So there's all kinds of different ways to be traditional. It doesn't have to be the ancient things, but it can be, um, you might have a tradition in your family, maybe that every Sunday night, everyone is sitting at the dinner table together. That might be a tradition in your family. Um, so what I have going on on Monday for you guys, Capricorns, is that there's something that's traditional, something that's a tradition for you that you're doing with a new twist or you're doing it in a different way. So maybe, um, maybe for say that it's the traditional Sunday night dinner example. So maybe you're doing it a little differently. Maybe instead of everybody eating at the dinner table at home, everybody in the family, you're going out for that traditional family Sunday dinner together. So that would be doing the tradition, but doing it with a little different twist. So that's what I see coming in for Monday, doing something traditional, but twisting it, doing something a little bit new with it, doing something a little bit different with that traditional thing on Monday. Now, Tuesday, what you guys have coming up is the Chariot Capricorn, and this is a very good card. This is a card of victory, and this tells me that there's something that you have been uh, wanting to manifest in your life, some kind of target, some type of goal, and this thing, as you're wanting to manifest it, this is something that not only relies on your own self-determination and willpower, but also relies on coordination with other people and assistance of other people as well. So this is not something that you're going to be doing by yourself, but something you're going to be manifesting with the help of other people. Now, when this card comes in upright, as it has for you on Tuesday, that tells me that that manifestation has come in. You have pulled it off along with these other people who are cooperating components here. So that dream, that target, that goal has been met. This is showing up for you on Tuesday. Awesome, awesome card. Now, the High Priestess in Reverse Wednesday, Capricorn. <sighs> okay, so what I'm hearing is with the High Priestess in Reverse, there are some things going on in your life where you're ignoring the truth. You don't want to see the truth. You're kind of in denial. Um, you want things to keep going along smoothly, smoothly, smoothly. Don't rock the boat. If you see the truth, the boat is definitely going to be rocked. You don't want that. And so I see that you're in denial. You're just kind of sweeping some things under the rug, not 
acknowledging some things that you really should. Well, I wouldn't say should, but um, you're not being as honest with yourself as you could be here. And um, while that does lead to peace and calmness for the time being, generally the longer you go without being honest with yourself, um, the worst situation you put yourself in when you do finally try to climb out and look at things with integrity as far as what's really going on around you. So that's a warning really that's coming in Wednesday that um, you're kind of in denial here and if you can strengthen yourself up to the point that you can come out of denial and really look at things the way they are, that's going to be something that's beneficial for you in the long term. Now, Thursday, what we have coming up for you Capricorns is we have the Lover's card in reverse. Lover's card really, um, I'm actually hearing that for you guys, this has to do with a decision and the decision does have to do with something about um, a partnership and I feel like you are taking your time with this decision. You're not um, feeling really solid and really sure about this decision on Thursday. Um, now partnership can come in at many levels. We can be talking about a decision about romantic partnership, business partnership. This can be talking about uh, maybe a decision about doing something with a friend. Maybe you're planning a trip together or talking about going on a trip together. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that we can have decisions about partnerships showing up and I'm feeling like we've got a lot of different ways manifesting for different ones of you Capricorns. So just basically a decision that you're you're not feeling really comfortable with one way or the other so far about whichever partnership we're talking about in your life and so you're sort of procrastinating on this decision. You want to wait. Uh, I feel like what you're what you're telling yourself is that you want to wait until more information kind of surfaces before you actually make this decision and I feel like you're going to wait until your back's against the wall to make this decision. I don't feel like you're going to get uh, a super lot of information here. You're going to end up having to go uh, much more on your gut instinct than you would like to. Okay, so let's move on from Thursday, Friday, Capricorns, Queen of Clubs coming up in reverse. This is somebody that you're going to be dealing with on Friday is what I'm feeling. And this somebody is, uh, for most of you, a female, but not for everybody. I never nail down genders in a general reading like this. But Queen of Clubs in reverse is talking about somebody that... Um, is not feeling very inspired. In fact, they may be feeling like um, like maybe they had a project that they were working on for somebody else and that person has said something and now they're just kind of like, you know what, I don't want to work on that. I don't want to do anything for them. This is kind of the attitude they're coming to you with. Um, I wouldn't say that they have uh, no feelings, like they're feeling apathy about whatever project or thing it is that they're working on, but the feeling has gone from being inspired and really enjoying this project to being now like, oh, forget it. Uh, 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 I don't feel like working on that right now. Um, so kind of the opposite of feeling inspired. Now there's definitely still emotion, but it's more in the negative way. And I think that you're going to be kind of hearing the story behind this on Friday. Um, I feel like this person it's just really kind of needing to vent. I mean, it would be great as far as they're concerned if you came in on their side of it, but I don't feel so much like they're necessarily, for most of you, I don't feel like they're so much necessarily trying to push you to pull, to um, take sides on this. For a few of you, they will, but for most of you, I don't feel that. I feel that they just need to vent, and I feel like whoever this person is that has made them feel so uninspired, um, is somebody that you probably both know and you both actually have a lot of respect for. And it's just all about venting. And I feel like this person feels safe venting to you because um, he or she knows that you understand it, that she really cares a lot about this other person. And it really is just um, being pushed a little bit too far and needing to vent about it. All right, so let's look at Saturday. Saturday, oh, Sunday you've got a really good card too. Okay, so Saturday you've got the King of Cups showing up. I like the King of Cups. The King of Cups is just saying that you're interacting with somebody on Saturday who feels very comfortable with his emotions. Um, and when I say feels comfortable with them, um, this is going to be somebody who's going to be more affectionate, more touchy-feely, not like overboard, but also um, 
you know, if you don't like to be touched, this guy's going to probably bug you a little bit. <laughs> But he doesn't have any bad intentions or anything. It's just that he's very in touch with his feelings. And if he's feeling like um, showing a buddy-buddy type thing, like he might put his arm around you in a friendly way or or whatever. But this person is um, very in touch with his feelings. As I said, he knows how to um, feel them. He doesn't suppress them. He doesn't ignore them. He also knows how to express them very well. And um, for some people, that can make them uncomfortable. Some people just aren't good with feelings. So when they run across someone who is good with feelings like this, and I'm feeling like this may be kind of the case with you, that this guy is good enough with his feelings that it makes you a little bit uncomfortable. It kind of puts you in um, out of your comfort zone, I guess is what I want to say. But this guy is talking to you about feelings he has about something that you're doing or about how important you are to him in um, his life. And once again, this is probably a male, but this could be a female too, not nailing down genders. We're in a general reading here. Um, but this person is talking about the impact that you've had on his life or that your work has had on his life. And it's a very positive message that he's giving to you and I feel like for a lot of you this person also wants to support you in some way because you've made such a big difference to him so he may be um, wanting to support you in your next big project that you're interested in doing or um, he may be wanting to um, like if you are getting ready to publish a book he may be wanting to help in some way maybe he wants to pay um, the cost of the editor's fees or something. I mean, I don't know that much about how book publishing works. I probably shouldn't even be using that as an example. But, you know, wanting to support you in some way as you continue what you do um, because something that you do has made a difference to him before. So um, this is going to be actually a really nice conversation. You're going to come away from it feeling pretty good about yourself. Um, but I am still feeling like maybe this person is so enthusiastic about how they feel that that makes you just a little bit like mm, um what's the word i'm looking for um hmm. <laughs> i keep hearing squishy inside <laughs> that's not exactly the word i'm looking for but he makes you kind of cringe he makes you cringe a little bit because it's just like a little bit more than what you're used to now sunday strength card coming up here this is talking to me about that um on sunday you're coming into a place or a realization of yourself that um you're learning to accept yourself and it's interesting to me to watch people learning to accept themselves because you know when we think about accepting ourselves, we kind of think about accepting those things that are not so socially acceptable and sort of making peace with them. But this card isn't just about that. That's part of it, but it's not all of it. This card also talks about accepting yourself completely. So that means accepting the really great parts of yourself too, those parts that are just fabulous. And I think it's interesting because in our culture, a lot of people have a harder time accepting the good about themselves than they do the bad because we're kind of taught to be modest and not to outshine anybody, not to be really great at something. I mean, I can remember being in grade school and I wouldn't always put up my hand every time I knew the answer because I didn't want people to think that I was smarter than them. And it's it, it is something that's sort of embedded in our culture is that we don't want to make people feel bad because maybe we're better at something than them. But the truth is, we all have our strengths. We're all better at a lot of people at something. So this card also talks about accepting those really great things about ourselves too. And when you know the good and you know the bad about yourself, it really does help to make decisions uh, about what you want to do moving forward. You know, what do you want to strengthen about yourself? What kind of job should you be doing when you know what you're really good at and what you're not so good at? You know, what kind of conversations should you be engaging in and what kind of conversations should you be letting other people have who are talking near you without your input? <laughs> so 
it's a really cool card because that self-acceptance um, on both ends of the scale is so empowering and so freeing and really um, gives you a chance to be confident in who you really, really are. So it's an amazing, amazing card. I love what it's talking about here. And I love it that it's happening to you on Sunday, Capricorn. That's just such good news. So wonderful. So that's your week, Capricorns. Thank you so much for stopping in, for hanging out with me. I do appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Uh, if, for those of you who are interested in getting in on a mentoring session, look up my contact information and let me know. Everyone have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next week. Peace out.